X-Men, X-Men. One of my favorite things about Mike Carey's run is after Necrotia, when Rogue gets to talk to Destiny. <gasps> She, we so rarely get to see that on panel. Yeah, well, because she died before Rogue was that major a character. Rogue's like, oh my god, mom, you're alive. And Destiny's like, unfortunately, it's not going to last. I can already see it. I know. I only have one day. And two pages, apparently. <laughs> but they get to talk and Destiny gets to be like, I'm so proud of you. And it's a moment in time where Rogue and Mystique are very estranged. Yeah. Because of that whole Mystique shooting her and then almost killing the mutant messiah. (laughs) Right, and that time Mystique stabbed her in the gut and almost killed her because she was mad about the time that Rogue didn't break her out of prison. And then there was that time that she tried to seduce Gambit so that she could break up Rogue and Gambit because she thought that Gambit wasn't good for Rogue. Mm -hmm. There was a lot going on in that period with the two of them. So I think that (laughs) it was good for Rogue to get a chance to talk to Irene because due to the fact that Mystique and Destiny's relationship wasn't allowed to be explicit in the 80s, you never got to see Rogue talk to Irene as though Irene was her mother. And so it was just really nice to get that moment, even if it was brief. 